Welcome back again in Latilidi's tutorial. Today's video is about subscriber request. This is something new on this channel, where I will make videos from subscriber request. This is a tribute to subscribers who have given a lot of support to this channel, and I want to say a big thanks to all of you who have been following the Latilidi so far. As a thanks to all of you, starting today I will make a video about subscriber request. So you can request any tutorial specifically about Adobe Illustrator, or vector designs, or whatever I have made on this channel. This video was inspired by some Latilidi subscribers who asked me to make a tutorial about some of my content on this channel, especially the tutorial on how I animate this vector artwork. Just so you know I have made a short tutorial for this vector artwork last year, to be exact in September using Adobe Illustrator, but recently I was having fun and animate it like this in After Effect. It's completely vector, created in Illustrator, and animated in After Effect. I have to make a disclaimer. You need to know that I am not an expert in After Effect. I only know the basics of how to make simple motion graphic. So for today's video, I'll first show you how to create this circle vector artwork in Illustrator, and next I'll show you how I animate it in After Effect, but in a way that I know. This vector artwork is very simple with a technique that in general you already know. Here I only play with two gradient colors. But with this gradient you can create the illusion of a three-dimensional chamfer. Here I create a document with vertical artwork, with a size of 1080 by 1920 pixels, the same size as the animation I made earlier. For this animated vector artwork tutorial, I have also prepared three beautiful colors, one soft color for the background and the rest for the artwork color. So let's just create the artwork, but first we make the background. Create a rectangle following the size of the artboard using the rectangle tool. Because we have prepared the background color, then just activate the eyedropper tool on the toolbar. And choose the softest color in the palette that I have prepared. Ok that's the background, now it's time to create the artwork. But before creating the artwork, I want to place it on a new layer, so open the layers panel in the window menu. This is important, because this is the secret. If you want to animate your designs that you have created in Illustrator, then each of your design content must be separated by layer. Each object or content that you want to animate individually, must be created on a different layer. You'll find out later on why I create different layers for each object when we move on to After Effect. So let's finish the artwork. In this Layers panel, create a new layer. To place the first object, just click this Create New Layer button. In this layer 2, we will place the first object which is the first circle. Create a circle using the ellipse tool on the toolbar. Just left click anywhere inside the artboard area to open ellipse panel. Make the circle size to 600 by 600 pixels, and click OK. Place it in the center of the artboard using the align tool horizontally and vertically. For the color of this circle, we gonna use a gradient color with these two colors. Open the gradient panel. If you don't have it in the collapsed panel like I have, you can open it in the window menu. Left click the gradient annotator to apply the default gradient color. Change the angle to minus 45 degrees. Now we are going to replace the color of this gradient with these two colors. Select the color stop on the left, then activate the color picker below it, then pick the color in the middle. After that, select the other color stop and pick the third color in the palette. And it's done perfectly. Now we are going to create a second object which is a smaller circle. Open the Layers panel, and create a new layer. Activate the Ellipse tool. Click anywhere in the artboard area. Fill the width and height with 390 by 390 pixels. Open the Gradient panel, and reverse the gradient by clicking this Reverse button. Now we are going to place this smaller circle next to the inside of the larger circle. Select these two circles. Once these two circles are selected, Click on the larger circle until the larger circle is marked with a thick red line, that's to make it as a key object, so that when we use the align tool, the smaller circle will follow the larger circle which is the key object. In the align tool, click horizontal align left, and vertically align center. And the last one is to create an even smaller circle in the middle. Create another new layer in the layers panel to place the new object. Create a circle with a size of 180 by 180 pixels. Place it in the center of the larger circle using the Align tool vertically and horizontally. Use the eyedropper tool to replace the color, with the same color as the background color. 
That way this small circle will give us the impression of a hole to these two circles. So this is the chamfer artwork that we gonna animate. This artwork has been completed with four created objects, and each object is on a different layer. These different layers are what I talked about earlier. It works if we are going to import this artwork into After Effect, and animate it individually, based on layer. Now, we just have to save this vector artwork with the I file type by default. I named it chamfer. Now it's time for us to move on to After Effect. Once again, I'm not an expert in After Effect, I only know how to make simple motion graphic, and in this video I just want to show you how I animate a vector design that I made in Illustrator, so in this After Effect, just create a new composition with the same size as the artwork that we created in Illustrator, 1080 in width, and 1920 in height. Change the duration to 10 seconds, as we gonna create the animation for just 10 seconds. If you are new in After Effect I suggest looking for a basic tutorial, there are lots of great tutorials there from the experts, and if you are looking for a good one, then this website is most suitable for getting Adobe After Effect courses from basic to advanced, the link for this website is in the description. In short, this is a composition panel where we can see and monitor the results of the animation that we create. On the left is the project panel, where we will put all the resources that we will use. And at the bottom is the timeline panel, this section is the key to animation. This section plays a major role in creating animation, where we can play with keyframes. I think only these three parts are important enough for this tutorial, and again, I'm not an expert in After Effect, so let's get started. First, we're going to import the design we created in Illustrator into this project panel. To do so, just double-click this empty space in this project panel to open the Import File panel. Choose this Illustrator, or Chamfer.ai file, and click Import. Now, pay attention to this part, this is the important part. If you import the Illustrator file in After Effect, and the file consists of several layers, then After Effect will give you an option to import the Illustrator file in the form of footage or composition. If you select Composition, the I file will be imported as a whole as a composition, which means all layers will be merged and imported in one composition. On the other hand, if we select Footage, it is possible to choose a merged layer, or choose a layer to import. So this is what I talked about at the beginning of the tutorial in creating this vector artwork, where in Illustrator I created each object on a different layer. And this is the reason I put each object on a different layer, that way in After Effect we can choose to import layer by layer. So let me show you what I mean. In this layer selection, there are four layers, according to the number of layers in the Illustrator that we created. If you notice that the layer 1 is the background, the layer 2 is the big circle, and so on. So in After Effect it allows us to import it in a separate object, so for now, I choose layer 1 to only import the background object. And just click OK. Now you can see layer 1, slash chamfer in this project panel, and at the top you can see the preview of this layer. Next, we just put this background into the composition. Click and drag into the composition panel, or into the timeline. Click on this empty space again. Import once again the Illustrator file. And select layer 2 or the biggest circle object. Click and drag into the composition. Do the same with the rest of the layers. Double click. Import Illustrator file. Select layer 3. Drag to composition. Once again. Double click. Import Illustrator file. Select layer 4. Drag to composition. Now it's time to animate this vector artwork. First, we gonna animate the layer 4, or the smallest circle. Okay I'll zoom in a bit, so we can see it clearly. Back to the timeline, expand the layer 4, and activate the stopwatch at position. Move this time indicator to frame 1 second. Move this small circle to the edge of the larger circle like this. You will note that after we move this circle, a new keyframe will automatically be generated at the 1 second frame. To see the results, move the time indicator to the beginning of the timeline, and press the spacebar to play. Now you can see this small circle has been animated. Next, select these two keyframes. Right click, Keyframe Assistant. And, Easy Ease. Easy Ease is to smooth the animation. Select again these two keyframes. Ctrl plus C to copy. 
Move the time indicator to 2 second frame. Control plus V to paste these two keyframe. Move to frame 4 second and paste. Do the same thing until the 8th second. And at the 10th second, reset the circle position. I think there's an easier way to loop through this animation over and over again, without having to duplicate this keyframe, but I'm not sure how, if you know you can explain it in the comments. Let's play this animation to see the result. I think it's perfect. Next, add a null object in the layer menu. New. Null object. Expand this null layer and the transform. Click the stopwatch on this rotation to activate the rotation animation. Move the time indicator to the 10 second frame. Then change the rotation to 3. Now select layers 2, 3, and layer 4. Click and drag this spiral icon to the null layer. So whatever animation we give to null 1, then these three layers will follow. Okay let's try to play this animation. Perfect. The last step, is to add texture. For that, we need a new layer. New. And, solid. And just click OK. Add effect to this solid layer. Go to the effect menu. Noise and grain. And fractal noise. Change the contrast to 110. Scale 450. Complexity 10. In the beginning of the timeline, set the key frame on the evolution. Put the time indicator to the last frame, and change the evolution to 6. Ok let's test this effect by press the space button. Ok I think it's perfectly done. And the last thing we gonna do on this layer is to change the blending mode to soft light. Right click this gray solid layer. Blending mode. And soft light. And, here we are with animated vector artwork. What do you think about this animation? Actually this is a simple motion graphic animation that can be done in After Effect. You know I am not an expert in After Effect but I can suggest a complete course on After Effect on this website. You can find many courses on After Effect here from basic to advanced courses. I have prepared a link for this website in the description. You can visit this site and find a course for After Effect that you want. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, because I still have a lot of things that I want to show you about Adobe Illustrator. If this tutorial is very helpful, don't hesitate to give a like, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. See you in the next tutorial.